I'm very passionate about uh, breeding livestock and that's what I want to do. Um, I will continue to try and do that. The, the, the levels of losses that we've had currently uh, which is unsustainable so I need to get clear of TB and um, have a sort of a period where we can start growing the, the herd again. Um, and I don't know what the future holds on that front because we're testing every 60 days. We lost uh, two cattle yesterday, um, so that was numbers are smaller. And all I can hope is that uh, uh, we do get TB free again. And um, as I say, we can grow the business on and, uh, and go from there. But if, it, if we keep losing the numbers that we are, it is unsustainable. And, and as, as a farmer, what, what is it actually like to actually see um, your, your cattle condemned to slaughter. Uh, it's soul destroying. I, I mean, it is. Uh, uh, I think last year when we, we, we had 30, 34, I think, I leave on one day, um, darkest day of my farming career. I mean, it was just absolutely awful. I, I was, uh, in fact, I couldn't load the last load. I, I rang a neighbour and he came and did it for me. I just couldn't do it. The whole point of the day is to bring people here and, and show them what it what it's like and show them the problems and 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 hopefully people can. Um, understand that there is two sides to this argument and the only way we can get on top of this problem is unfortunately it, it, it is, is the culling of the, the diseased badgers and uh, rather than having this sort of badger cattle debate how do we get rid of TB uh, in cattle and badgers that's, that's what we need to be talking about and um, we need to have healthy cattle and healthy badgers. And uh, just in terms of your farm will, will your farm be involved in the badger cull pilots? Uh, we're not in the pilot cull no. And, and in, in the future, would would you be open to the idea of culling badgers on your land? Or? Yes, it's necessary, and uh, I certainly would do. Yeah.